Hi YouTube and welcome to this session of Primavera training. In this uh, video I will explain dynamics of project tracking and how to maintain and assign baselines. As you can see we are in the Gantt chart view of our project. The first thing I want to do before working on uh, baselines is to define a starting milestone. I can uh, select uh, my uh, project and um, in uh, the activity view I can add a new activity. As you can see the name of uh, this uh, can be changed and we might select uh, uh, start milestone and uh, now we have uh, this new activity in here. We can change attributes of this one by going to detail view and activity type should be start milestone. Different attributes like WBS and activity calendar can also be changed here. So this uh, new uh, activity with duration of zero is a milestone but it needs to be connected to other uh, activities of the project we can do this in different ways um, I can uh, select uh, this uh, activity first and then the activity which is the successor to this one so holding control key I can um, select this second uh, activity which is also a milestone right click on both and select link activities and uh, now the two activities are connected so this is how we can define a start and finishing milestone which are very useful for uh, tracking purposes before working on uh, the baselines we need to change some settings in the admin preference as you can see mm, we are in the earn value part of uh, the admin preferences I'd like to change uh, techniques for computing performance percent uh, to this option custom percent complete and uh, you can change the value to 20 it means by starting any activity 20% uh, progress is recorded for that particular one another important change we want to make is in earn value calculation and let's uh, select any of the current values first or second option let's go for at completion values with current dates then we can close and now we have uh, set admin preferences to current values it's a very good uh, practice that we make a backup of our project be before defining a baseline <coughs> my project is this one I can right click on uh, the project uh, select copy and then again right click and select paste as you can see it asks what uh, options do you want to be copied and we are happy with default so now a new project is created with um, an extension to the project ID as uh, you can see I will right click on this and select open project so I'm sure that I'm working in uh, this new environment a very good practice uh, again is to go to the project tab and select uh, uh, the open the project in the general tab uh, we can change the status from planned to what if because we want to introduce some uh, delays to the project in the tracking phase and analyze some what if uh, scenarios so now we have our uh, second copy of the project we are now ready to assign um, baselines I can go to project and uh, first maintain baseline 
this is our project and I can select add two options are available if this is uh, the first time you are maintaining a baseline and there is no previous baseline uh, defined for your project you can select the first option save a copy of the current project as a new baseline the second option is very useful if you want to uh, define secondary or tertiary baselines and in Prima Vera you can have up to 50 baselines for uh, a single project I can select OK now and uh, now uh, this new baseline is created it is named B1 which is the first baseline for our project we can change the baseline type to initial planning baseline and now we can close uh, this uh, dialog box then we can uh, again go to project menu select uh, assign this time and for project baseline we select b1 and also for user baselines the primary baseline will be b1 again and then we can press ok as you can see now our uh, project has a baseline but we cannot see it uh, in the tracking GAN chart we can uh, go to uh, layout and change it to a proper layout by opening uh, the dialog box we don't want to save changes a good one we can select is um, baseline versus uh, current so double click or apply it and now uh, it has been uh, selected uh, for us as you can see now the bars are uh, visible in here we can change the zooming of uh, our Gantt chart view by hovering the mouse over timeline and change uh, the zooming factor also we can drag it to the left or right when the mouse cursor is changed to a hand there is a bar option in the menu and here you can check the box if you want to see any particular uh, bar and here the primary baseline is selected and it is visible and highlighted by yellow color so now uh, we are good and we can also define secondary baselines if uh, necessary so uh, this is about uh, defining uh, baselines for our project in the next video i will explain how to uh, define actuals for our uh, project and uh, inter values for those thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my video channel for updated weekly videos on engineering and project management thank you